Hey guys, Kevin here, and this is the unboxing video for the Trident's AX720 headset. I will open up the box and get back to you guys when it's ready to display. So I did commentate as I was going through what was inside the box, but the camera was too far away and you couldn't really hear what I was saying, so I'm going to go through what's inside the box in a separate commentary while you guys uh, watch the uh, video of me opening up the uh, Trident's AX720s. So first off, when you open the box, you'll see a bunch of wires. Uh, the first one is the uh, power supply. The second is the USB cable to plug from the Trans decoder box to the PS3, the PC, and I believe the Xbox 360. I'm not totally sure if you actually need the USB for that one. The third wire would be the optical fiber cable, uh, which gives some really good sound quality. You plug that from the Trans decoder box to the uh, PC, the PS3, and the Xbox 360. Another thing that you'll find in the box is the wire that connects the headset to the PC and the mic that is plugged into the headset. You also see the Trine headset and the Trine's decoder box. The last wire that uh, you will find in the, uh, in the box is the uh, Xbox wire that you plug from the uh, headset remote to the uh, Xbox 360 remote. So I'll let you guys watch the rest of the uh, unboxing video and I'll get back to you guys with the setup tutorial. Hey guys, Kevin here, and this video I'll be showing you guys how to plug your Trans X720s into your PC and your PS3. This may apply for the Xbox, but I'm not completely sure because I don't have one, so don't take my word for it. But first off, you're going to want to plug your actual headset into the S video slot right here in the front of the, uh, the decoder box. Then you're going to want to plug the power supply in the back and the other side of the, the wire in the wall. So once you have that done, you're going to want to get the USB cable, plug it in the back of your uh, trying decoder box, and the other side into your PS3 in the slot provided there. Now you got the power, and now you're going to want to get the audio. So you're going to want to plug the optical fiber cable in the back of your decoder box and the other side in the back of your PS3. This side. It's too dark to show, but you get the point. Sorry for the sketchy recording here guys, but when I upgraded my computer to Windows 7, the Dazzle stopped working. So we're going to have to deal with this today. But it's not so bad, so I'm going to keep going. So you're going to want to go to your settings and go to sound settings next go in audio output settings and go on the optical digital and click on the Dolby Digital 5.1 channel and what it's going to do is going to enable your uh, headset so once that's done you're going to get you're supposed to get the audio now you're going to want to go to the accessory settings to adjust your mic and then go down to the uh, audio device settings. Then go to the input device and change it to your headset, like so. And same thing for the uh, uh, the output device. Now, for many tutorials, um, people have said that you can just plug these two wires into your PC, plug your microphone in this one, or your headset and it should work but for me it only worked for Skype 
and uh, no other program so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the way so that your computer locates the headset and you could use it in almost every program and um, this is what enabled me to use it in this commentary today okay so like I said before the thing that didn't work was that my computer didn't recognize the headset so what I did was I plugged the USB part of the head of the um, of the headset into the PC right away and plugged my headset into the try and decoder box the thing that won't work here is your headset um, won't get the audio but the microphone will work and um, this is how I was able to um, use this for this uh, tutorial because um, my recording software Camtasia um, couldn't locate my uh, my headset but plugging the USB slot it was uh, able to um, download the drivers and um, locate the headset so at the time I recorded this I didn't fully try out combinations of wires but I found out that if you plug the optical fiber cable into the back of your PC if it does have a slot you will get the audio onto your headset I did put an annotation on the link when I said it wouldn't work but um, in case you didn't uh, see it um, I'm mentioning it now if you have any other questions on the uh, setup um, just put a comment below uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you liked the tutorial hope it was helpful and I'll see you guys later